Yeah, here's the golden trout, and I call it tanuki targeting techniques. Um, the reason why I call that because I try to hit the fly very close to the fish as I can. Um, the unfortunate is a lot of wind today, um, and then also the water is very very shallow and quiet. So I stand up, I still can catch the fish, but only maybe catch one. So before I cast, uh, before I catch any fish, and I like to fish the area that uh, I think is close to me as possible to clear out that water and to be sure that there's no fish. Uh, most time I get the fish like oh, where I'm about to uh, land the fish so that I try to cast. I think I spoke the fish already uh, by setting up the equipment and of course with the orange shirt doesn't help either, is that right? Um, Fish likely to be another side of the bank uh, because you get a shady and that's I'm going to try out next. So you can see the light barely touch the water, just a little bit of the tippet. Now go to another side. Alright, so the fish that's where I think it's going to be. Right there. Got it. That is pretty good size for the golden trout. Uh, you know, ten inch is kind of um, a trophy on a small stream like this, and they only live for. Uh, I don't mean they only eat for about like six months uh, when the uh, uh, melt out uh, the, the snow melt, and then by uh, the late September, early um, October is already uh, cold, and they probably shut down. And um, see that pretty. They probably shut down and um, uh, hibernated, or sometimes they just die because the whole this section will be frozen, nothing else but ice. So these fish are migrated down from the lake, or both. So uh, we'll see if I can get any luck. You know, I like to catch wherever the fish is get up. And one time, uh, Tony and I catch the same fish um, five times on the road. Um, we, Tony got three times, and we just catch it, release it, and he come back right where he was. And then we catch them and do it all over again. So finally, we give up because we don't want the fish get burned out. Um, the wind is really strong, so I have to cast kind of tilting my rod a little bit. You can see that I'm casting against the wind. So if I lower my rod and the line of course have to be touching the water because it's a much lower level, is alright? For the trick of catching this little fish that you don't kind of when you set the hooks, most of the time people set the hook, the fish just flying off the water. So uh, one of the tricks that you don't want the fish flying off the water. So it took me a while to kind of practice and then also improve a lot with the soft touch of the rod. So, um, you know, so you don't uh, fly the fish off the water. Um, it's not easy when you hit the dry fly and they're on the momentum up. And then we are also lifting up. So it kind of very easy to get the fish get off the water. So what I'm wearing there is called a legging. So the legging is a neoprene wader, but they only go to legs, and I like that much, much better than the um, uh, hippie. Uh, hippie also a short wader. Um, but this one is really kind of more doable than hippie. Uh, you can rub, you can kind of crawl on the ground, you don't have to worry about the uh, poking the hole on the wader. And then also it tied to my legs, so when I walk, it's called they call the um, uh, compression. Look like compression shock, so it you don't tire so much. So here it is, number four. All right, I think I got enough. <laughs> 